Hello guys, welcome to Roadmap. Today's topic is physical and chemical changes. And if you like the video, don't forget to click on subscribe button. Topics to be covered are introduction, physical changes, examples of physical changes, chemical changes, examples of chemical changes, rusting, or corrosion, methods of preventing corrosion, alloying, crystallization. Introduction. Now you must have seen that there are changes in everyday life. These changes are observed in parks, in buildings, in, in at various places and at vari in various things the changes are observed. So, these changes takes place in everyday life. The change of ripening of fruits, whether the change of uh, boiling of water or uh, melting of ice are the different changes that are taking place. Changes such as germination of seeds or warming of LPG gas. Now, what is a physical change? You must have seen that there are some changes that are taking place physically, like the change in physical properties of substance without undergoing a chemical composition that the physical change does not has the state of chemical composition change. The chemical change does not take place. The change takes place only in its form and not in the chemical state it is the physical change the chemical the physical change is temporary and reversible so these are the properties of physical change that it is temporary and reversible physical changes changes its uh, change form but not its chemical composition remember that uh, Physical change does not bring a change in its chemical composition. No new substance is formed in a physical change. Matter of composition can be altered. The change takes place in the state, color and smell. So these are the properties of physical changes which are taking place. Dissolution, precipitation, evaporation, freezing, condensation, melting, sublimation. These are different physical changes that are taking place. Sublimation is nothing but a, a solid material gets undergoes a change without going into the liquid state. Now there are different physical changes taking place in our everyday life. So let's look at the examples into more detail. You must have heard about melting of wax, butter and ghee. This is nothing but a physical change. Glowing of electric bulb, heating of iron rod, freezing water to get ice, drying of wet cloths, ringing of electric bell, chopping of wood, changing water into stem by heating. These are all nothing but a physical change that are taking place in our everyday life. Now, coming to a chemical change, the name itself says that it is a chemical change. So, a chemical change is a change in which this chemical state changes and entirely a new substance is formed. Like in physical state, no new substance is formed and there is no change in chemical state. It is same in its form. But in chemical change, the chemical changes takes place and a new substance is formed. The chemical change has got properties like it is permanent and irreversible. Chemical change 
uh, it, the change takes place in the properties and composition in chemical change. Heat or light is absorbed in a chemical change. So these are some properties of chemical change. Rusting, burning of fuel, cooking of food, curdling of milk, fermentation. These are all the chemical changes examples. Now let's look into detail the examples of chemical change. Digestion of food. This is nothing but a chemical change. Because various reactions takes place in body during the process of digestion. So this is nothing but a chemical change. Rusting of iron is a chemical change. Growing of seed into a plant, it is a chemical change. Ripening of fruits, spoilage of food, respiration. These are all the chemical changes that are taking place in our day-to-day -day life. Lightening of matchsticks, burning of LPG. The difference between a physical and chemical change. As we have seen the properties of chemical change, it is simple to identify that what are the physical and chemical changes properties. No new substance is formed in physical change. New substance is formed in a chemical change. Physical change is temporary. While a chemical change is permanent, there is no change in the composition. Whereas a chemical change a new substance changes greatly. In a physical change, the reaction is reversible. It can be reversed. While in a chemical change, the reaction is irreversible. Heat or light may or may not be absorbed in a physical change. Whereas heat or light is absorbed in a chemical change. So there is a, this is a basic difference between a physical and chemical change. Now what is rusting? Think about it that when utensils, aluminum, a copper are exposed to moist air, they get coated with reddish brown color. This is nothing but rusting. It is an oxidation process and it takes place very slowly. Copper loses its shine, aluminum becomes dull gray. These are the examples of rusting that is taking place. Metals are oxidized under influence of atmospheric condition. This is nothing but corrosion. Now, in the process of rusting, there is a great economic loss. There is a national loss which is taking place because of rusting. Because iron and steel, they are used in various industries and for various purposes. And generally because of the corrosion, or rusting, there is a great economic loss to a nation because of rusting. 15% of world total production of iron is destroyed just because of corrosion. So this is a huge loss that is taking place just because of the rusting of metals such as iron and steel. They are used for various purposes like agriculture tools and in industries. So, there is a lot of damage that is taking place. The damage also causes because of the accidents, because of the wear and tear of bridges. You must have seen that the bridge gets collapsed or a building structures or rails where iron is a main component and here the, the, it gets rust, rusted because of and causes accident. So, this is the examples of rusting which are taking place. There are two conditions which are necessary for rusting, oxygen and iron. So these are the oxygen and air. These are the most important things which are necessary for rusting. Now there are different methods of preventing rusting. Let's look into detail about it. Coating with oil and grease. Generally, the metals, copper, aluminium, they are coated with oil and grease. They are smeared with oil and grease so that it will prevent rusting. Coating with paints. The railway coaches, furniture, automobiles, cars, they are 
painted so that it will prevent corrosion. Galvanization. Galvanization is also a process of preventing rusting. Now, what is galvanization exactly? Galvanization is nothing but a coating of zinc to iron sheets. This is generally taking galvanization is very important and it takes place. Now tining, it is nothing but coating of tin to various materials such as cooking utensils. They get coated with tin so that the dusting is prevented. Electroplating. Now electroplating name suggests that it is nothing but the coating which is taking place with the help of electric current. So their electroplating has got different examples such as spoons, handles of bicycles, steps. They are all coated with the help of electroplating where the electric current is used. And anodizing. Now, anodizing is nothing, the, nothing but a process where a substance get electrically coated with their oxides, and so the anodizing takes place. Now, so alloying. It is a mixture of homogeneous mixture of two or more metallic solid solutions. Remember that what is the definition of alloying? It is very important that it is a mixture of two or more metal solid solutions. Now, example of alloying is stainless steel. It is a alloy that is very important. Now, what is crystallization? It is separating of pure substance in form of crystals from hot saturated solution by cooling. And it is basically used to purify solid substances. So this is the figure which shows that because of heating the pure substance uh, substances is formed and in, it is in the form of crystals from hot saturated solution and then it is co allowed to cool and the pure substances is formed. So thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.